All right, this past weekend, we, we talked about how important it was for you and I to, to recognize uh, that God loves us. And we talked about, of course, that you and I need to slow down. We said, all right, you're getting caught up into it right now. I know it. That's because that just comes into your heart. What I want you to do is just to keep reminding yourself that you are loved by God. I've got my rain jacket on today. I had to put it on because it was sprinkling as I left the house. And what, what it did was it reminds me that I'm covered by God's love. God's love is really your protection in life. When you know that you are loved by God, this is what it does for you. It constantly reminds you that you are loved. And number one, it gives you freedom. That's what we said this weekend. It gives you freedom to be who you are. I'm a human being. That's right. I am a being created by God and I am loved because of him. I'm not a human doing. Remember that. I'm a human being. It's not because of what I do. It's because of who I am. He created me. I'm unique. This is the way I look. You look your way, right? Second thing, it gives me security. I don't have to worry about the... Uh, acid rain. I don't have to worry about the bad weather out there. It does That doesn't change who I am. I'm secure. And even if I make a mistake, I'm still loved by God. And then finally, we talked about this past weekend that we're new. Now, every once in a while, just slow down and remind yourself, all right, that I'm free to be me, I'm secure, and that I'm a new creation. In Isaiah 43, this is what it says. I think it's so beautiful. It fits perfectly with what we've been learning. And, and, and with this extra few minutes, I wanted you to hear this. Isaiah 43, beginning in verse 1, it says, But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I've purchased you. I've bought you out of the sin and slavery that you were under. I have summoned you by my name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Now, is not that not what we've been talking about? How even though we go through difficult times, we go through hard places, God is going to be with you. When I was a, a young man and I was trying to figure out whether or not God had called me, I'd been praying and reading the Bible and, and, and I was journaling every day. I was sharing my heart with God. I was like, God, I want to do what you want me to do with, with my life. I don't want to just have my way. You know what I'm saying? And, and in the midst of that, God gave me a dream. And in that dream, I had to cross a river. And I get out in the middle of this river and it's much deeper than I thought. And there's stuff in the river. And, and as I'm in the middle of that river, it's just like this verse in, in uh, Isaiah 43. Even though you're going through this river, he said, I'm going to be with you. In the middle of that dream, I felt like I heard God's voice say, it's okay, just keep walking. Just keep going. I'm directing your path. And that's what I want you to know today. People that are forged in the fire, people that have a lasting love, have this security in God, and this is what it does for you and I. It allows us to love other people, to fully be ourselves. I just have to be myself. I don't have to be anybody else. And you can be you. I know where I end and you begin, and I'm able to value you, appreciate you, enjoy you, be with you as a person. That's what it does. And so we can have real friendships. We don't have to put on a mask. We don't have to be a phony. We don't have to act anything differently. Keep the rhythm that I'm loved by God, called by Him to love other people, and just walk in His love. And yes, if you find out there's something inside of you that's not good, then you go to Him and say, Lord, forgive me. I repent of that. That was not a good attitude I had. And get it out and say, Lord, would you cleanse me of that, wash me of that, and help me to never come towards that again. Hey, I love you. God bless you. I'll see you this weekend here at the church next door.